Hey there, welcome back. Today we're going to try to model ourselves a radiator. So let's kick things off by pulling up the gizmo and from the gear, we'll pick out a polycube. Press unify and then click on delete loop. Next up, let's scale out the cube until we got a long rectangle. Now weld it in the X axis. Let's choose insert multiple edge loops and then bring back the gizmo. This time in the gear, we're going to select bend arc. Give it a 35 degree angle and set the radius to negative 0.1. Head back to the gear and press accept. Let's give this a little bit more thickness in the Z axis. Press QC50 and set the smooth subdivisions to 1. Bring up the gizmo again and give it a 10 degree rotation. By holding shift, it will lock it into five degree increments. To make duplicates without creating a new subtool, we can use the gizmo. Hold down the control key, then click and drag the move manipulator of the gizmo to make a copy of your current mesh. Find the spacing you want between the subtools, then let go of the control key, but keep that mouse or pen pressed down. You can now make duplicates of the mesh with the same spacing. Bring up the gizmo again and pick the polycube from the gear. Press unify, then clear those loops with delete loops. Unmask the bottom and bring it up slightly. Then unmask the side and move it outwards. Next we're going to scale it a bit on the Z axis. Choose insert multiple edge loops, then alt tag the three polys and Q mesh them right through. Now we can delete the top faces. Now it's time to bridge. For the edge action, we're picking bridge. For the outer targets, it's two holes and arc. Lastly, for the modifiers, go for poly group flat. Now delete the top two edge loops. Unmask the bottom faces and extrude with the gizmo. Mask the outer points and move down the inner points a little bit. Extrude out the faces with the gizmo, then delete the poly at the end. Let's go ahead and open up the array mesh. Set the repeats to 60. Press lock position, lock size, and transpose. Bring up the transpose line and drag out the array mesh until the ends meet. Now we can click Make Mesh and turn on Dynamic to check out what needs welding. Go ahead and click on Weld Points, then press Uncrease All and then Crease PG. Switch back to the gizmo by pressing Y and pick Bend Arc from the gear. Give it a 35 degree arc, then hit Accept to lock it in. Now set your smooth subdivision to 1. Bring up the gizmo again and rotate it 10 degrees. Use the gizmo to duplicate the mesh using the control key.
Go ahead and press Control W to group visible. Bring up the gizmo and from the gear we're going for Polycube. Now we can click Delete Loops. Scale it down and unmask the bottom face. Grab the gizmo and move it down. Choose the slice curve brush and slice in an edge loop. Unmask the face and extrude it with the gizmo. Snap to the front view and unmask the bottom. Use the gizmo to slightly move it over a bit. Choose the slice curve brush again and slice in another edge loop. Unmask the face and move it out with the gizmo. Snap to the side view and press Ctrl W to group visible. Let's go ahead and select Inset a single poly. Alt tag these three polys and then select Transpose Polygroup Island. Hold Ctrl and move with the gizmo to extrude. Mask out the bottom face and move it to match the profile. Add in a couple edge loops with insert multiple edge loops. Alt tag the nine faces on both sides and inset them. Go ahead and unmask the polygroups and run a polish by features. Bring up the gizmo and adjust the polygroup. Go ahead and select Inset Polygroup Island and delete the middle polygroups. We're going to be bridging again. For the edge action, pick Bridge. For the target, it's two holes and one line. And for the modifier, go with Polygroup Flat. Now we can slide the edge loop in. Let's slide the inner edge loops closer to the bevel. Right here, let's add in a couple edge loops. Now go ahead and select Insert Multiple Edge Loops. Press Ctrl W to group visible. Now it's time to set up our creasing. Set the crease level to 2. We want to add in some supporting edge loops to keep the crease fall off consistent. Now go ahead and select Slide Edge Loop Complete. Bring up the gizmo again and let's pick Poly Cylinder 3D from the gear this time. Press Unify. Then grab the Clip Curve Brush to shave down the sides. Now we're going to inset the flat island. Snap it to the side view and scale it in the Z axis. Click to repeat the inset action on the back. Let's delete the middle edge loop and Q mesh the polygroup island. Mask out those flat surfaces and clip them back just a bit.
Weld in both X and Y to even out our clipping. Let's add in two edge loops and alt tag the faces to be Q matched. Now select Mask, Poly Group All. Go ahead and grab the Clip Rectangle Brush. Once you're set, hold Alt and you can clip those polys out to the Clip Rectangle border. Let's collapse those edges to get rid of the extra poly. Select Insert Multiple Edge Loops to add a single edge loop right down the middle. Press Ctrl W to group visible, then press QC50. Let's clean up the crease with the Z Modeler brush. Now we can set the crease level to 2. Let's add in a few more edge loops to help control these angle changes. Alt tag these faces to change the poly group. Now unmask these polygroups and run a Polish by Features. One more time, bring up the gizmo and from the gear, select Deformer Soft. Select the outer points and move them down. Invert the points and move them up a tad. Now we can press Accept to lock it in. Bring up the gizmo and from the gear, select Poly Cylinder 3D. Set the H divide to 28, snap it to the front view and scale it up a bit. Snap it to the side view, unmask the front and with the gizmo, move it back. Now we can add in a couple more edge loops. Turn on symmetry in the Z axis and set the radial count to 4. Alt tag the pair of faces and Q mesh them out. Unmask the end and move them out with the gizmo. Move it down just a hair and clear the mask. Let's press Ctrl W to group visible. Then select poly group for the polygon action and flat island for the target. Now we want to select 28 sides IMM. Head back to the Z Modeler brush and delete the extra edge loop. Add in a few edge loops and then press QC50 and set the crease level to 2. Bring up the gizmo again, pick Polycube from the gear and click on Delete Loops. Now start masking points and use the gizmo to create the base shape. Grab the slice curve brush and add an edge loop. Unmask the edge loop and move it forward a bit. Clear the mask and add in four more edge loops with the slice curve brush. Use a bit of masking and the gizmo to fine tune your model to better match the reference. Now we can press Ctrl W to group visible. From the Z Modeler brush, choose Insert Multiple Edge Loops. 
Unmask the top two faces and move them up with the gizmo. Clear the mask and delete the middle edge loop. Snap to the side and scale it on the Z axis. From the gear of the gizmo, let's select Twist. Twist it to negative 10.5 on the bottom and 8 on the top. Let's lock it in by pressing Accept. Dive back into the gear and pick the former soft. Choose the middle points and move them a little forward. Now select the top points and move them back a bit. Once you're done, press Accept. Turn on Dynamic and set the Smooth Subdivisions to 3. Now we can add in a few supporting loops. Select Transpose Poly Loop and push it in a tad. Let's make our other subtool visible and move the fan blade up to the top. Go ahead and scale and position it into place. Let's turn on Array Mesh and set the repeats to 8. We're aiming for a full 360 in the Z amount for rotation. Also, let's lock the position and size and then turn on Transpose. After bringing up the gizmo, hit Y to switch to Transpose mode. Go ahead and move the pivot to the center. Let's go ahead and grab the Move Infinite Depth Brush and make some adjustments while in Array Mesh mode. Unmask the top and run a very light Polish by Features. Time to finesse the curvature a touch more with the Move Brush. When you're happy, press Make Mesh to seal the deal.